My name is Gregory Pearson, and this is the second part to my lesson plan assignment, section 4, 5, and 6. Activities. What activities have I planned? Introduction and modeling. I will begin class by introducing the musical selections of the day, Di Ferrello by Schubert, and Shall We Gather by the River by Copeland. I will show a video example of selected choirs singing these pieces in SATB and unison form. I will show the choir by video different tempi and varied dynamics performed by different choirs. I will then model the music pieces by vocally demonstrating how the melody and harmony sound and how I expect the text to be pronounced. I will also model the proper technique of breathing, diction, posture, and musical expression by singing sections of these songs. By the end of the lesson, the choir will sing these pieces properly with musical expression and clear diction. Guided practice. The choir will be in a group setting, a tutti, and will sing the songs through to detect any problem areas. I will work with each voice type by listening to a verse being sung and then repeating the verse to the choir to show proper sound, singing technique, and breathing. The choir will speak the text aloud without singing to practice proper diction and enunciation along with teacher demonstration. Independent practice. The choir will be divided into vocal sections and practice learning the sectional music, work on diction, speak the text clearly and succinctly. The sectional practice of music will help the choir members to hear their specific music parts in the songs and help them sing their individual music parts with more confidence once they are in the choir setting. Closing. We will wrap up the lesson by rejoining the music sections to sing in a choir setting, a tutti, to demonstrate the songs in SATB and unison form. I will also review the vocal and breathing technique issues needed to sing with a full vocal sound. The formative assessment. The students will know if the objective has been mastered by the end of the lesson if they can sing without running out of breath, if the song's text are easily understood and clearly, if all notes have been reached and music expressed with joyous emotion, and I will assess the musical quality at that time. Why have I chosen to use these activities? I have chosen these activities to help students understand the importance of singing with proper technique, breathing, diction, and pronunciation. By using modeling, guided practice, and independent practice, the students will have a better understanding of quality musical expression and technique. Materials and Resources what instructional materials will I use? I will use these materials in the lesson plan. Sheet Music, Di Ferrella by Schubert, and Shall We Gather by the River by Copeland. The Smart Board, Pencils, Highlighters. Why have I chosen these materials? I have chosen these materials for our lesson plan to help facilitate the students during our rehearsal. Pencils will be used to mark notes in the music, highlighters to mark the music line, and the smart board will be used to view our video selection. Having these items available at the beginning of class will maximize our rehearsal time. Evaluation. How and when will I plan to evaluate students learning on the content of this lesson? I will evaluate the choir students at the end of our class session by discussing with them the aspects of each piece of music that was rehearsed. I will use questioning to discuss the usage of proper diction 
and breathing techniques that enhances the singing quality and assess the comprehension of musical expression used by each composer. By using teacher observation, I will be able to view the student's effort in rehearsal process, whether the singing was labored or effortless. The final evaluation will be assessing of the choir when singing is an entire entity, taking many singers and making one voice with the musical expression and fluid singing. Why have I chosen this approach for evaluation? By using this evaluation, the students will be able to hear, feel, and understand the composer's vision of a song by using proper technique, breathing, diction, pronunciation, and understanding of musical text. Not only do the students have to sing a piece of music, they have to know the reason behind the composer's idea of the song to fully sing the piece with full musical value. This is why I chose this approach for evaluation. Thank you.